so on hindustan unilever daily chart it is pretty clear that yeah it is finding some amount of selling at every levels but we need to find a big reversal pattern for hul uh, to be buyer along these levels right so even on this smaller level 17 11 80 kind of zone are crucial for hul so let's see whether we can find any reversal in this zone no need to hurry and get into the trade but for next uh, month's expiry these trades are very crucial and important so hul we can look out for similarly ongc so these two stocks pretty light these are strong stocks with strong rally has basically come down because of uh, nifty correction and we can see a good surprise of upside if nifty turns or finds any kind of support and even the result season is going to come up in next month or so so ideally uh, we should now look at these stocks which we want to trade and then basically focus only on those uh, after 10th of october and place all the trades in these stocks whichever stocks we are uh, shortlisting for next month's expiry right so as of now we have a list where we are focusing on uh, so let's put october trades right on the top one i would like to trade hul ongc pd light so these three stocks till now we are interested to trade upon and we'll be keeping an eye on for the next month expiry right so thank you very much for joining in <clears throat> so we'll join in tomorrow and we'll try to figure out post expiry things have changed or not but i think nothing will change tomorrow as such it will be a dull day but as we are getting into a long weekend so enjoy yourself relax a bit and then get ready for the next month trade because the first week of october is going to be very very tricky uh, where uh, if a bounce back comes many people will be bullish they will buy more or initiate a fresh long position and they can again be trapped by another downfall the following week so ideally first week of october can be a bounce back rally but it won't sustain if a fresh long building happens over here i think a downside cannot be neglected by 13th of october or so first thing is that now if a downfall comes the second downfall which will come in this week from 9 to 13 uh, that will find a quick upside during the following two weeks towards the expiry so i am more interested from 16 to 26 as i was interested last time as well post a big fall off if it happens we will have amazing opportunity to trade right so this is the days where i am basically counting to find an excellent opportunity for the upside if a following sell off happens prior to 13th october